Good morning, collective. We're going to do a quick energy check, see what your ancestors, the universe, the divine, want you guys to know as you're navigating through your journey, ascending to your highest good. I've already called in the appropriate protection. This is a time this reading is whenever it finds you. I think you might go ask for the seal of protection around me as I open myself to get channel messages from ancestors of the highest white light. Only of the highest white light, nothing other but the highest white light. Please and thank you. Uh, How you guys doing today? <laughs> the past couple of days has been really hot, which is weird at enough. And then all of a sudden, the next day, gray, cloudy, gloomy, cold. I don't like the cold collective. I do like the cold. Don't. That's a lie. Because I like to wear my boots, my, my coats, my scarves, you know. You can switch it up. First card out. Integrity. Align your actions so that they match your values and your inner knowing of what's right for you. So a lot of you guys could be in this energy of making decisions for what's right for you and not what everybody else is saying is right for you, what everybody else is thinking is right for you. You guys are, are, are getting in alignment and matching what's right for you or this could be somebody that you're you're in separation from or somebody you're energetically connected to right now take the energy where it resonates integrity doing what's best for you what makes you feel right not what society says is right what society portrays things to be, what social media portrays things to be, not what my family believes is right for me, it's what's right for you, going within and finding out what feels right for you, make sure your values and inner knowings is what's right for you, you're matching it, what else? Flags at the bottom of this deck. Keeping an open mind. Some of you guys are paying attention to the things people are trying to tell you. Somebody's tricking somebody, is what I'm getting. Yeah. So this is what I'm getting. You know how, like, you have a family or friend you go to, and you ask them for advice? Somebody's weaning out who the red flags are around them by asking them questions. And they're paying attention very closely to what these people are saying to them. So like for instance, I come to you and I say, you are really digging this guy. This person has, you know, just, I get this feeling that this person is, you know, is right for me. Um, we have so many things in common, things feel good, it's good energy, good vibes when I'm around this person. And then they go and they ask somebody, and that person's like, what? I don't think you should do it. And then you're like, but why? It just sounds fishy, it just doesn't sound right. But why, why? Or, you know, they could introduce somebody to, to this person and be like, yo, what you think about this person? I don't like that person for you. Why? 
This person never gave me that vibe. Somebody's weaning their their friendships out like that. What kind of shit is this, baby? Somebody's matching their integrity and paying attention to the red flags that the advice that people are giving them. And it's not because they were, yeah, base shot, but they're, they're fucking doing it. They're, 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 the people, places, things, their whole base chakra, their whole foundation. If it's not in alignment with what's, what's, what their integrity, what their inner knowing is, their value, they're putting it in as a red flag. This person has ulterior motive. That's what I'm hearing. Why wouldn't this person like this person? an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation this person is like this person that makes me feel good may not be what you guys think or says doesn't look good it's not how it, how it looks it's how does it feel it's not about how it looks and that's, this is one of the things that somebody we have to learn on our journey. How does it feel? Fuck how it looks. Because you could take something ugly and turn it into something beautiful. How does this person make you feel? Not how does this person make you look. Somebody's on that type of time. Who is this person? Let's see. And the wisdom. That reminds me of High Priestess. Somebody's weaning out their friends and their circle group. Wow. Yeah, they're letting go of control. Somebody's letting, somebody's seeing things from a higher perspective. In a wisdom, Athena reminds me, when I see this card, it reminds me of a high priestess or a high priest. some kind of awakening in the vicinity of these people. Number four, highly protected, courtship. When I say this is somebody who wants to, who's looking at, they're looking to court you or to come back towards you. Take it where it resonates. 
This person now wants to lay a foundation, keeping an open mind about this relationship. They gain some kind of inner wisdom and they're releasing control to the divine. Whoever these people are that are against this, this, whoever this is to you guys, this is somebody's twin. What I'm getting is that this person went through an awakening in the vicinity of these people. And they gained some kind of inner wisdom. This person is now standing in their integrity. They're releasing control and they're paying attention to these people that are around them that don't want to see them with you. Whoever those people are, those red flags, they're about to get a message. That's what I'm picking up, guys. has gained some kind of inner wisdom they're keeping an open mind and realize that their soulmate may differ from their usual type this person has went through an awakening they gained some kind of insight during in that awakening and they're like hold up They're not, they're, this person is not going against their integrity anymore. They're done. They're done people pleasing, I heard. This person could be in a room full of people and they still feel the loss when you're not there. They feel alone. This is somebody's twin. They're yearning and, and earning, earning, earning? That is it. They're yearning. Yeah, they're yearning to be with their gift. This person may want to gift you something. If this person already walked out of your life before and is returning, they might they may want to gift you something. Whoever these red flag people are, <laughs> they're about to get a message. I'm not lying to you guys. This person is releasing control. Yeah, they're freeing themselves. Look. Letting, letting, letting go of control and freeing themselves. They're done. They're, they're done doing that. This person is not doing that anymore. comes in between this connection. I know what I'm feeling. Look, devil. Anyone who's opposed to this, cut off. This person has gained some kind of clarity, some kind of insight, some kind of download about who you are to them that's making them act in this manner right now. change, transition, a rebirth. Old makes way for the new. This person may want to message you. May come off a little flirty in the beginning. 
Hey, sexy, how you doing? I just heard. You still look beautiful. What type of shit is this? Can we talk for a minute? I just heard that song. Girl. Something has been illuminated to this person. This person is about to reach out to you guys. It may come off a little flirty. This is your fucking twin. I know what I'm fucking feeling. <laughs> this person has put you on a pedestal now. Whoever I'm reading for, this person in the past never matched. Their integrity never matched. This person's putting you on a pedestal now. Yep. This person's in regret for breaking your heart. Look, Spirit said that's the truth. This person has put you on a pedestal. Guys. This person is in that full ass energy and they're about to take a leap of faith. They're gonna message you flirty a little bit. It's gonna sound maybe quirky to you guys because it's gonna be out of the blue. But they're doing it. Yeah, they wanna be consoled. They wanna celebrate with you after healing and closing out these endings. Yeah, look, I can never make this up. What did I tell you? This person has went through an awakening around these people. Something was shown to this person that made them go within, heal, close out these cycles, and want to come in and celebrate with you. You're going to have some angry motherfuckers, but that ain't your motherfucking problem. These people are angry because... These people are angry because they were a red flag. They were the red flag on the fucking whole plane. They were the ones. They made this person hold back from you when that person needed to hold back from these devil-ass karmic energies that they were around asking for advice. Their friends were the fucking red flag, yeah. Only wanted them for the fucking money. They're holding back from these karmics that only look at them for their money and what they could do to them for them. Yeah, this spirit guide is guiding them. Whoever this person is, they're being guided to the sun. Ooh, spirit. You're making me say bars here. <laughs> yeah, two of wands. This person has made the decision. They're coming in. This emperor has made the decision and they got some angry ass motherfuckers. Yup. Yup. It sounds like it, it sounds like those people's problems, right? Were those people concerned? Justice. This is your justice. Were those people concerned when this emperor was sitting there around them feeling empty? Filling a void without you? Did they care how this emperor feel? Did they care how you felt collective? These people, these red flag motherfuckers didn't give two shits. They got what they wanted. Hey. justice this person's coming in to bring justice to you after leaving you on hold for a long time and putting you in the ten of swords 
making you feel backstabbed and betrayed by them. And you guys probably did. Yeah, this person is trusting their vibes and they're ready to live their joy with you. Yeah? This person is learning how to love themselves and put them first. And that's what Spirit wants us to do. Always put ourselves first. When people don't put us first. When people don't care about our feelings. They're listening to their inner voice. They're listening to the guidance of their ancestors. Yeah, look it. Unconditional love is what this person has for you. And these fucking red flag ass motherfuckers make them take a step back and hold back from you. Fuck that shit. These people are all happy because they're all getting what they want. Not this emperor. This emperor is the only one that's not happy. Where does that make sense? person who makes them feel special, the one who makes them feel loved. The person who didn't have something to gain, just being around them. These people have something to gain, being around this emperor. And that's why they push this, they, they make this emperor hold back. They were, they were not giving them good information, but they had an ulterior motive. Some of them wanted this effort for finances. And some of them, it's just this emperor's ranking. They're freeing themselves. Time is now, Spirit is telling them. Narrow path. Oh, shit. I know what I'm feeling. 
They're navigating. They're allowing their ancestors to guide them now. Navigating by stars. Follow your bliss. They're following their son, their happiness. The person that makes them happy. Go for Good for you, Emperor. Good for you. Everybody else is happy around them except this person is what I'm getting. How does that make sense? How is that fucking fair? Because you don't like the person that, that I'm digging? That I love, that I care about? That makes, that makes me feel good within myself? That pushes me. Cleansing waters. This emperor is cleansing and detoxifying. Purification activates vibrant life force. Rainbow of blood blessings expected. This person's on their way. Blessings are showering your life. Spirit said, you guys, lie back, rest, and relax. Just watch the clouds. Enjoy yourself. Let spirit finish doing what they need to do here. This is what I got for you guys. Love and light.